Well, Stephen Joyce, other counties have turned old hotels into camp and in, into shelters before. And this one's being paid for a little differently. Thurston County's never done it before, but they're taking some funds that were supposed to be used to clean up encampments because the encampments have gotten so bad here, they had to try something new. This is where the individuals will be coming in here. It's not quite ready yet. This will be their room again. Uh, bed, new sheets. But within a week, up to 10 people will be living at what used to be the Lacey Days Inn Hotel. Clients of the facility run by the Low Income Housing Institute get a room. This is where we're going to have our meals at. Three meals a day and access to social and mental health services all for free as long as they don't engage in violence or public drug use. What they do in their rooms is their business, but everyone has to agree to weekly inspections. Make sure that the, the room is okay, we don't smell anything we shouldn't be smelling, making sure there's no hazardous anywhere, and then again, making sure that, you know, it is looking livable. The residents will be moving in from an encampment a couple of miles down I-5 in Olympia. It's all paid for by state funding set aside to clear campsites along Department of Transportation property. The near $150 million pays for projects across the state to relocate, clean up, and in some cases, bring in boulders to keep campers from coming back. The hotel project will move as many as 150 from Olympia into Lacey, where city officials are excited about the new venture. These issues are, are region-wide. There's no real jurisdictional boundaries. Lacey's interim city manager says services offered and the code of conduct at the facility should help people find permanent housing and should be an improvement from what it was when it was a day's in. When this was, site was operating as a hotel as a day's in, there were individuals being there on short-term stays, voucher systems, there wasn't any really on-site 24-7 management. Bear with us, it's, it's gonna be done by next week. Program manager John Brown is confident the enhanced shelter will change lives. Everybody had a moment in time that someone helped them, right? And this is kind of what this is going to be, just to give individuals that need a helping hand, that need some assistance for them to have an opportunity to do better. Ten clients could be living here as soon as next Wednesday. They may have as many as 100 by the end of the summer. The city and the operators know that neighbors and business owners here are going to have some concerns. That's why there will be community meetings once a month to make sure these new neighbors are good neighbors. Live in Lacey, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.